What's up, Airsofters? Thank you for stopping by. Today we'll be reviewing the Plano Hard Shell Gun Case. This tactical case from Plano is designed to hold and protect and rifle of all styles in most extreme conditions. Built to offer a complete shield against the elements, the gun guard case features a continuous dry lock seal and ensures the case remains watertight, airtight, and dustproof. The case boasts rugged, hard sided construction with thick walls and heavy duty dual stage, spring loaded latches with padlock tabs. High strength pin hinges and high density foam material round out all the features on this all weather case. And this was first available to the market on May 7, 2009, so it's been here for a while. This case could fit up to a rifle up to 36 inches long. And this case is widely available it's on Amazon, Dick Sporting Goods, Models, and other gun, man, um, gun supply stores. Now, let's move on to a segment I like to call Likes and Gripes, where I talk about the things I like about this case and things I don't like about this case. First off with likes. One of the things I like about this case is the price. On Amazon, it's for $67, but I bought this from Dick Sporting Goods. Dick Sporting Goods matches the price. At Dick Sporting Goods, it was listed at $80. I showed them the, the, um, the, the Amazon listing and they put the price down to about 60 something and got the sale. Now we know, all know Airsoft is an expensive sport. People have expensive equipment, guns, people spend thousands of dollars on their, on their Airsoft guns, whether it's, um, you know, as is or with um, upgrades to it throughout time. This case will protect your gun through all of the conditions. You could throw this out, out the window and then your gun's gonna be perfectly intact. Continuing on about the price, a lot of people like Pelican. A Pelican is just an expensive brand. Is you know, this feels like a Pelican. This is made out of a um, polymer mold injection. So that's how we got these cool designs and everything. And the hinges are top notch. The latches are top notch. And it's just it's just great. Another thing I like about this case, this is TSA approved. You can get on an airplane from whatever state allows guns like Texas, Florida, and get on it with this plane. Now you gotta check this in, you can't bring, your, bring this as a carry on, but you can check this in. Reason why is because the front two latches right here, boom, boom, you, um, it's locked. So this gun this gun case comes with a key, two two sets of keys that you could lock um, lock this case so no one could uh, open your case and then start shooting people with your with your gun. So you could safely go on board the plane and it has a pressure valve underneath. So just in case it's on the plane and so much pressure develops in the case and the case goes like, you know, starts to warp. You press the um, the pressure valve on the bottom and just to show you, ah, uh, here, you press it here and then release all the air that built up and the pressure that built up inside and then your gun won't get, your gun won't get damaged. Another thing I like about this case is the pluck and foam. Now, when you first get this case, it comes with a clean slate of foam, but it's pluckable. So you can put your gun over it, like I did over here, and then you pluck. Uh, what I did was I dug my fingers around the gun where the foam was, removed the gun, plucked it, and along with my other accessories, like I have the uh, my flash hider uh, right here, nope, not here. I have my mags, batteries, and then other, other accessories. So this gun can fit a lot. You can actually fit two rifles here in this case. You just gotta like, you know, have one on the end, other end. But uh, that, that's just for whoever wants to do that. Now let's move on to gripes. I don't have much gripes about this case, but my one gripe with this case is, not only is this already uh, 12 pounds, when you add on everything else, your gun, batteries, whatever. And mind you, you can use this for your real steel firearms as well. It gets heavy. And with that, this case does not come with wheels. And I guess that's the drawback in paying such a low price for pretty much high quality case. They got to cut corners somewhere. I honestly wish I had, this case had wheels um, just to make my life easy. I live in an apartment building. Sometimes I take the stairs to get to my car. So I'm carrying it along with my with my uh, with my airsoft gear, and it, it's it. Especially when I park like three blocks away, sometimes it could get tiresome carrying this case. 
I know a lot of the new pull cases comes with wheels and honestly I'm looking towards that venture so if they could if Plano could make an affordable hard shell gun case that also has wheels I would look into that another gripe I have with this case is I wish they put locks on all latches so there's only locks on these two front latches not the middle and not the two on the side I think that will make for better security because even when these are two these two are locked if somebody unlocks um, these two latches or release these two latches this case can still I'll show you examples so pretend these are locked this case can still open from the side over here like someone is able to like put their finger they can't take the gun out obviously but you may never know they could stick a crowbar in there and then pry it open and get access to your gun. I'd rather not have that that uh, that risk at all. So Plano, if uh, here's a little of, uh, opinion, just you know, next time put locks on all latches, and then you'll have better security and avoid the next shooting potentially. You know, my final thoughts on this case: it's a good case, bought for sixty dollars. It looks on par with a Pelican case. Solid material, weatherproof, waterproof, um, pressure proof. The comes with um, comes with locks. There's not a much complaints about this case, and it looks nice and tactical. When I pull up on the airsoft field, they know I'm in. They they know whatever in this case is serious business, and I'm not gonna even tell you what's in this case. You know my main my main rifle in here, but I'll do a review on that soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think about the case and any uh, ideas you have for future videos in the comments. Until next time, guys.